Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today in this video I'm showing how to use it incognito mode in Google Chrome. As you know here I open the Google Chrome here and I can search anything but everything will be uh, in their history like for example if I go to history and all my search will be there and people can easily understand what I have searched especially if the computer is being used by more than one people. So uh, let's see what is incognito mode and how we can use that one. For understanding what is incognito mode, I'll just search on um, incognito. And when you search incognito, you will understand what is incognito. It's private browsing. It's available in almost all the browsers like Firefox, Chrome. In almost all the browsers, incognito will be there. It's called private browsing. And in Google Chrome, it's especially uh, it's called as incognito mode. Uh, as a privacy feature in sub-web browsers, when operating in such a mode, the browser creates a temporary session that is isolated from the browser's main session and user data. The good thing is, like for example, if you have already logged into a particular email and you want to open another email, the thing is you need to log out and log into the new email. You will have to log out and log in. So these things, um, especially if, if you're an administrator or something, you want to open it a temporary email, then this incognito mode is really helping it's not just um, for hiding the uh, it's not just for privacy it's also a convenient method to make the browsing experience better so let's see how we can open an incognito browser session and uh, search something now you have seen that if i search for mail.google.com automatically it's taking me to the email that i already log in in the browser so if I want to log into another browser, another um, email, I have to log out or add account and all. But uh, if I don't want to log out because I want to use this continuously, then I just want it for temporary, then we can use the um, incognito. So let's go to incognito mode. Click on the three dots here and you can see here new incognito window. You can also press Control plus Shift and N together so it will also open. Uh, and no incognito window. When you click this one, you will see a dark window has been uh, got and also you can see you have gone incognito. Fine. Now you can browse privately and other people who use this device won't see your activity. However, downloads, bookmarks and reading list items will be saved. So you can see here these three things. Whatever you downloaded, bookmarked and reading list items will still be there. Alright, you can see the reading list that I added before is still there. And Chrome won't save the following information, your browsing history, cookies and site data, information entered in the forms, your activity might still be visible to websites you visit, your employer or school, your internet service provider. The thing you need to understand, even if you go incognito, whatever you are searching, that will be uh, logging on your firewall or um, router, whatever it's there, if there is a security firewall or something, it will log all the details and still the, still the IT admin can find that you have searched these items. Alright, but as in general, if you are in home and you are using your incognito browser, your history will not be there and that will be very easy for us to manage. Especially for example, as I have seen in my, as I have shown in my previous example, when I want to log into an email using mail.google.com or gmail.com, I am getting a new window here to log in directly to uh, that particular email. So here you can put your email and log into the email. And also you can search anything. Um, and those search, it will not be logged in your browser and your history is safe here. So you can see here, when I go to control history, I can see the history from other tabs like the general one. But whatever you search here, it's not there. You can see and here if I'm coming and press Control H it's taking me to the original Chrome session and it will not give me the history here and you can see here the history is uh, not shown in the um, options as well alright okay so I hope this video was helpful to you you can try it out of course maybe you are using it already I just wanted to make a video about this one and i appreciate for watching this completely thank you thank you for watching subscribe the channel click the bell icon for notification take care goodbye